U state is one of the most used hook in React. But you know what's the least used? It's use brain. And that is why in this video, I'm here to show you seven of the most common mistakes that a lot of junior developers and even sometimes senior developers make while writing their code in React.js. And the first one is not making your code modular. So what I mean by that, for example, if I opened this shopping cart app that I've discussed in my front-end interview preparation course, we have this star rating component that is being used over here in the filter section and over here in the home section as well. So we can see in the home page, we have used this star rating component right over here and we are reusing it inside of our filters component as well, um, which is right over here, you can see. And it's the exact same code with just a minor difference that this part, this filters, we can change this filter and we can interact with it, right? But this we cannot do. So since most of the code is same, why don't we create a component out of it? And this is the mistake that a lot of us make that we don't reuse our code by creating a separate component. So let me show you. So I've created a separate component right over here for our star rating. And now simply I can just take this and over here in the filters, I can just take this whole div right over here and I can paste only this much of code here. And that's it. This will continue to work. And if we don't provide this on change, it will work just like a normal star rating component. And we can remove other stuff that is dependent on it like this and this, right? And inside of our homepage as well, we can get rid of this div and we can just simply add this. We don't need on change over here. And instead of rating, we can just say prod dot rating, right? And this will still continue to work. If I refresh it, yeah, you see, this is still working fine. Now, another very common mistake that I've seen people make is, and this mistake costs them a lot of time, their interviews as well. They fail in their interviews because of this, because their personal projects don't have a proper folder structure. So if I show you in this project right here, in the shopping cart app, I have my app.jsx, right? Where I'm importing my pages. And for the pages, I have separate folder. For my components, I have completely separate folder. For my wrappers like app layout, I have created a separate folder so that I can store other layouts as well. And for my context API or my state management, I have a separate folder, right? So you have to make sure that you have structured your project in the right way so that everything is where it's supposed to be so that the developers that come after you to work on this project can also benefit from that. Now, another one of these mistake is not using custom hook to reuse our logic. So see custom hooks in React is amazing they provide us a way to encapsulate the React logic. Like for example, if you are using something like use state or use effect again and again for a same logic, you can encapsulate it in a separate function altogether, which we call custom hooks, right? Like for example, over here, you can see I've created a custom hook for fetching our API. So when we fetch our API, it requires a state for handling the data, for loading, for handling the errors, right? There are so many things involved. And then we fetch our data just like this. You, you can use Axios or, you know, fetch like I have used over here. And we have to use this same logic again and again every time we fetch some data inside of our project, right? So to avoid that, what I've done over here, I've created a custom hook called use fetch, which is also asked a lot of times in your interviews to build. And simply in the end, I'm returning the data, loading and error. And this custom hook just takes the URL and also what are the options? Like if it's a get or if it's a post or for example, if you are if you want to supply it, some options in the body. So if I show you over here, we are using this custom hook. We have provided this URL and this is going to give us data loading and error. And accordingly, we have used it. And you see how reusable our component or you know, this logic has become inside of our component. So make sure you use custom hooks whenever necessary because it can be possible that every time it's not really necessary but whenever it is you should harness the power of custom hooks and i have covered a lot of such custom hooks like use counter use debounce use fetch use intersection observer use local storage use window size a lot of these which are asked in our interviews a lot in my front end interview preparation course so make sure you click the link in the description down below and check out this course this is the only thing that you will ever need to prepare for your front-end interviews. And not only this, I've covered every single topic of React.js, like React Router DOM, Redux, all of the hooks, class-based component, function-based component React, 
even the performance optimization which is asked from senior developers a lot tons of machine coding questions as well and obviously in-depth interview preparation course on javascript as well so all of this you get in one single course so click the link in description down below because right now we're having the biggest sale of the year for a very limited time so don't forget to check it out or you can also scan this qr code on your screen to go directly to the course page now this next mistake might not be very obvious but a lot of us make it very frequently and that is not destructuring our props so for example in this uh, component right here i'm creating this scalable uh, carousal component which provides us a lot of props right and when we go inside this carousal you can see we have this props coming over here so instead of just doing props dot images or props or you know something like this every single time what we can do we can simply instead of this destructure it like this and provide it with all of the props that the parent component is sending to us and now we can directly use them right over here and this destructuring is very powerful even when you're using uh, let's say an api as well so for example if i open something else like for example this shopping cart app inside of this even when you're doing this map right so notice i've used this prod dot thumbnail prod dot title everywhere instead of this i can just say thumbnail get rid of this from over here i can use title over here i can use price over here and get rid of these from over here right so you get the idea right destructuring our props or probably an object makes our job a lot easier and our code much optimized and this brings me to my next point which is not handling undefined values efficiently so if i go down over here you can see we're setting the image width to this image ref dot current dot offset width but we're not sure if this is undefined or not or this is undefined or not so what we have done we have said if there's something inside of image ref and if there's something inside of image ref dot current only then render this or you know only then take the value out of it so this is a long syntax and instead of this what we can do we can use optional chaining and see we are just done with one line of code and this is very very efficient while you're writing long code in large code bases make sure you harness efficient javascript practices so that you can write good code and if you're wondering yep this uh, question as well this carousel system design question is also a part of my front end interview preparation course now another one of the mistakes is using asynchronous code directly inside of use effect and using unnecessary dependencies inside of use effect as well right so let me show you for example uh, in this use effect we have fetched this url directly and then we're parsing it over here and then we're just setting our state this is not the correct approach because placing asynchronous code directly inside of the use effect can lead to unintended side effects like they might initiate an un unwanted operation or you know they can get called in an unwanted way when the component is mounted or unmounted right so instead of this what you should do and also you can see we have unnecessarily added this set user dependency over here right when this is not dependent so don't just add anything inside of over here make sure that it is actually needed inside of the use effect right so this is actually a function so we don't really need a function to be added over here so instead of this we can use a function called fetch data where we are properly fetching our api and we are handling the errors by using a try catch block and then in the end we are calling this function just like this so make sure you're not calling uh, you know directly the asynchronous code inside the uh, use effect just make sure it is a part of a function and then you're calling it now you can see i've made a progress bar over here which is being uh, you know loaded to 100% and to do this i have used uh, set interval in this app but do, did you notice some mistake over here and that is our final mistake which is not cleaning it up whenever the component is unmounting so this is very important to use cleanup function in use effect whenever you use something like this right so i can just assign const interval to this and then in the end i can say return and use effect returns a callback and instead of it i can just say clear interval and just give this interval right over here and this will make sure to clear our interval whenever our component unmounts so yeah these were the seven mistakes that a lot of junior developers make if you want to learn react in depth or you know want to learn more such good practices by building a lot of projects Make sure to check out my front end interview preparation course link is in the description down below